on YouTube, Kurt's S7 here for the review of the Manchester Derby. But first things first, I just want to say thank you to every single person that came to the live stream watch along yesterday, the Manchester Derby. I had so much fun. We're having a QA, and a we're having a laugh. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Definitely going to get more live streams coming on the channel. But something amazing happened yesterday during the live stream, which I was unaware of until the uh, live stream was over. It was that I hit 50,000 subscribers. Unbelievable. I was just... Couldn't believe it. And I, I still now, I can't believe it. I just want to thank you guys, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so, so, so much for that. So pumped for that. But you know what that means. It's time to shave their beard. Oh, no. I love this beard. It's been, I've been growing this for ages. I've been growing this from the start of the year. Almost a year's worth of beard. It's majestic. It's wonderful. It's a piece of art. But stay tuned for that video later on this week. We're gonna shave the beard. But anyways, lads, as depressing it is, it's time to review the Manchester Derby. I wanna wanna make it short and sweet because it's still a bad memory. I haven't watched the game since. I haven't watched any highlights. I've just avoided all social media today because, mate, it's thoroughly, thoroughly depressed me, that game. I just, there was so much hype around it. It was just so much build up. Just felt like we just, I don't know, it was, just, it was just a disappointment in the end, you know. We didn't come out firing. I know we had the international break and all that, but City had an international break. Fair play to Pep Guardiola. I think he did Mourinho in his tactics. I think Mourinho didn't didn't do himself any favours by starting Mkhitaryan. You know, it's your first Manchester game. You're going to start him in a derby, especially coming off an injury in the international break for Armenia. You know, same as Jesse Lingard. Fair enough, he's played a few games, and fair enough, he's scored big goals for us, but he's in the back of, um, you know, an injury as well. Rashford scored a hat-trick in the under-18s, or the under-21s for England, you know, he's got proper confidence. Very, very shocked when I seen Rashford wasn't starting, and I think that's what costed us that first half, albeit there was some great brilliance from Kevin De Bruyne in that first half. He ripped us apart, scoring one, uh, getting assists for the other for Ian Acho, but really should have had two goals, and really... Looking back, he should have had like three or four goals himself for the whole game. He proper tore us apart. The second half, we were better. The second half we came out, I just felt like there was no end product. It was very end-to-end. -end. I feel like the midfield was just Pogba, and he was just so isolated, you know. I thought Fellaini had a fantastic game, but Fellaini was too deep or he was too forward. And same as Pogba, he was too forward or too deep. There was a big difference when Ander Herrera came on. I thought he had a very, very good game, like Rashford when he came on. Always we're going to play better when Mkhitaryan and Jesse Lingard went off because just they went at the races yesterday. The last few derbies, we've been proper spanked. This derby, I don't think we were spanked. Yes, it was very even. Yes, City did win and they get on top. But I reckon if we were to play again tomorrow, I'd be more than confident that we could do City tomorrow. But that's the team Jose is building. What, we're four games into the season. We shouldn't be too disappointed just, uh, just yet. Yes, Mark Clattenburg didn't have the best of uh, refereeing games yesterday or decisions. I thought there was a few fouls that he should have given that he missed or he didn't give and a few penalty calls which he didn't give us in our favor. Three, two, one votes for this game. I'm going to have to go one vote to Daily Blind. I thought he was superb. Really lacks in pace, but mate, for just the technical ability, his defending, his technical awareness, he is just brilliant. And he kept Ian Acho, uh, Ian Acho very, very quiet yesterday. So one point to Daily Blin. Two points, uh, two votes goes to the Man Mountain in Eric Bay. Thought he was proper superb yesterday. I thought he had a really, really decent game. If, say now, if it wasn't for Daly Blin and Eric Bay yesterday, we could have got done another 6-1, another thumping from City. So for me, them two, and man of the match, in my opinion, or at least for United's standpoint, was Maran Fellaini. I know I didn't think I'd be saying that in a Manchester derby come 2016, but he's had an awesome start to the season, and he was everywhere yesterday. I was saying in my live stream, he, he was superb. Passing, tackling, winning headers, he was there. He was everywhere. He was causing City a nuisance. He was getting stuck in. But lads, that is the end of the review, and if you've liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button. But I just want to say, before you go, thank you guys so, so much again for 50,000 subscribers. Thank you so, so much. But until next time, lads, stay tuned for the uh, video of me shaving the beard. That's going to be interesting. But until then, lads, I'm your boy, Kurt7.
Take care and peace.